everyone, I'm Jessie from Nailed It NZ and today I've got another 5 in 5 tutorial for you. In case you're new around here, this is when I show 5 different nail art designs in 5 minutes or less. And as you can see, today's tutorial is Easter themed. I've got a bunch of other Easter nail art videos as well that I will link down below for you. Plus, if you're interested in what's on my other hand, I will leave the link to last week's Moana tutorial there as well. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to my channel for more nail art, thumbs up and enjoy the video. Alright, so as usual we're starting off with a base coat and then we're going to focus on the ring finger. Paint it with a purple, my one's running out so sorry about the awkward application, and then get your detail brush such as mine from my Nailed NZ brush line. Use white polish in the brush to paint a line on the left side of the nail, then fashion it into an ear. Do the same to the other side, but make it a floppy ear instead. Add the very top of the head. Don't make this part too big or else you end up having to add in eyes as well. And then once that's looking right, go through and make touch-ups until you're happy with how it looks. To finish off this nail, grab a light pink and fill in the middle of the ears with it, like I'm doing here. For the next nail, the chicken on the middle finger, Paint a couple of coats of yellow polish and try not to mess it up as bad as I did here. Then once that's dried we'll use a detail brush again and paint on a white egg shell. It's basically a wonky zigzag and you fill in below it as well. Then we're going to make our chicken have a cute winky face so paint a couple of small curvy lines that link up together making the winking eye. And then paint the outline of the other one. While you've got the black out also paint the outline of a triangle for the beak. Alright, so next go back to the white and fill in the second eye and then do any touch-ups needed for the shell. Fill in the beak with orange next and then finish off this nail by adding some black for the pupil of the open eye. Alright, so these are the two character nails, now it's time for some easter egg designs. There's three of them here and the first one is the easiest. I'm just painting it purple and then we'll use my striping brush from my Nailed NZ brush kit. I'm using white polish with this to make four straight lines going down my nail. Next I'm using my dotting tool to fill in between the lines with dots, starting off with pink. Once that colour's done, I'm using orange for in between the other ones, but of course you can use whatever colour you want. And done! Next I'm painting the pinky into a zigzag easter egg and starting off with a white base. This one is a little bit trickier than the last one, but not too bad still. Once the base polish is dried, use your detail brush and a light pink to paint zigzags on. It's really important that you start in the middle of your nail and work your way out, as that's where the focal point is and it'll keep your design looking really proportionate. Make more zigzags or partial ones above and below the first one, leaving a gap in between them. Once that's done, choose another colour, I got yellow, and painted more zigzags in the gaps in between the first ones. And that's it! This last nail is the most complicated out of the easter egg designs. First paint it white, and then use a striping brush to make two purple horizontal lines at the top and the bottom of your nail. What I do is paint it one way first, rolling my nail to make it easier, and then I switch it up and paint from the other direction to make it more even. Then add lots of little vertical lines with the same polish, filling up the bottom part of the nail. Now we're switching to yellow, and use the dotting tool again to make a line of dots just above the bottom design. I really like dashed lines in nail art, so that's what we'll do next in the same colours, using the detail brush and just below the top purple line. Time for another colour, use your zigzag skills to paint on a light pink zigzag filling the gap in the middle of your nail and then make a tiny pink line at the very top of your nail, if there's room. To finish this design off, I'm going to paint on these black dots in between the zigzags, and once they've dried, add some white dots in the middle. Cleanup's really important, so I'm using my Nailed NZ cleanup brush to get rid of the excess polish, and then carefully applying a quick dry top coat. And here is the finished look! Let me know what nail is your favourite. My one is probably the chicken because I love his cheeky little wink, but the thumbnail is pretty cool too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and make sure you're following me on Facebook to keep track of what I'm up to. Have a great weekend and I will see you later. Then use some orange for his neck and once that's done, change to yellow and fill in his beak. 
You may want to dab some yellow by his neck as well. Next, use black to outline his eyes and make the pupils.